Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, it was a very volatile night right across the board for the markets after the investors were waiting to see what path of interest rate hikes following the Fed minutes. Along with that, they were also digesting some U.S. mixed retail sale data release. Looking at the U.S. Federal Reserve minutes at their July 26-27 policy meeting, they indicated that they would likely not consider pulling back on interest rates until inflation came down substantially. Along with that, they failed to indicate, though, on the particular pace of coming rate increases at its coming September 2021 meeting. The minutes showed, though, that the U.S. central bank policymakers were committed to raising interest rates as high as necessary to tame inflation. However, many officials felt that there should be some caution due to the risk that the Fed could go too far as to try and call demand to lower prices and that the surge at the faster pace of inflation is around 40-year highs. Viewing the Australian dollar, well, we've seen two heavy candles come through and now crushing the 60-day moving average, which was roughly around the region as you can see here at 69.68, the market is plummeted and taken out the support level of 69.55. In light of this current move to the downside, we we'll now look towards the support level of 69.15. I do feel this is quite an important level. That the fact is, if we see a break from there, could see further risk of a fall, and that is the market could be even looking further down towards the region of 68.60. But let's see how this level holds, or if it holds, around 69.15. Technicals have turned somewhat bearish, so it is a little bit on the uncertainty side when it comes to that level of 69.15. The euro is holding up better than the Australian dollar. As we can see, the market is respecting the level of 101.15.35. And from there, it did take a challenge to the upside, which is around 101.90 and was respected. In light of the pattern, though, the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, was up a touch from 106.30 to 106.50 this morning. If we can break and clear this level of 101.90, then it would give further indication to the bull case and look towards 102.65.75 with the downtrend coming in. Roughly, if we broaden this out just a touch, you can see here the market is looking just a little bit lower than the region that I was holding around 103.45 down to about 103 figure 15. Looking at the dollar yen, well, the market has edged higher, and at presently it could take the challenge back towards the level of around 135.60.70. With a slight extension coming now above 134.95. From the rejection of 131.80, the market has pretty much played this sort of similar pattern over the past month, and therefore I do anticipate a rejection from this top side of the range. Eventually, see a pullback as this continuation pattern likely to be repeated. Sterling a little bit weaker overnight after the inflationary numbers came in quite surprisingly high, around 10.1. And a fresh 40-year high. In light of the pattern, though, I'm not going to get too negative at present because I feel there is still some support holding roughly around that 119.50.70. It should eventually see a further indication to the upside if we clear the level around 121.5. Gold was weaker overnight and getting closer towards its objective, which is seen around 1,755 to 58. In light of the heavy technicals, we may get there sooner than later. Let's see if the market will defend this level or take further challenge to the downside down to 1,732. And finishing up with oil, well, the market looks like it's still challenging this level of $86 a barrel, but respecting. I feel there is some divergence here, so we could see a rebound soon from this level and look up towards the region of 88 to about $90 a barrel. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, we have an interesting report, and I hope you enjoy the great start to the day.